on the same exact day as Jesus the Christ. Is it possible that the entire thing's a hoax? Was there even a Jesus Christ? Did this man even exist? He's drawn like a white man, but he was supposedly the hair of wool. That's not a white man. In the Middle East is brown skin, so at the very least, you know, it would have to be brown, possibly black. So... Jesus Christ was born on the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles during the fall. Um, so it's, Jesus Christ is a myth. That's it's made up, right? That's the greatest hope perpetuated upon the American people. Uh, and Jesus Christ was a myth. Just like the Catholic Church, the entire order is totally made up. Uh, the Catholic Church is made up in order. What in the fuck are you all celebrating? St. Patrick's Day, even though St. Patrick um, was a real piece of shit. Before St. Patrick, we have St. Valentine, who was based on a non-existent person who never stood up to the emperor or said that he was going to keep marrying even though there was an order to stop. That was total bullshit. It's, um, it was a non-existent person the Catholic Church made up, used to co-opt a sadomasochistic Roman holiday about purification and fertility called Lupercalia. So St. Valentine's Day is based on Lupercalia, which was a sadomasochistic Roman holiday. Uh, Catholic Church uh, adopted St. Valentine over Lupercalia, and then eventually we got Saint, uh, the Valentine's Day that we have today. What in the fuck are you all celebrating? St. Patrick is a celebration of massive genocide against the native Irish and Druids in the name of Christian missionary work. Catholic Church celebrates St. Patrick's Day even though uh, Patrick himself was uh, to be in opposition to the Catholic Church while he was alive. And then later on, about several hundred years later, the Catholic Church makes him a saint in order to co-opt the Irish into the Catholic Church. So again, we see the Catholic Church co-opting um, St. Patrick, uh, St. Valentine's Day. And they're going to keep on doing this. Uh, Easter is how the Catholic Church adopted a springtime ritual, uh, ritual such as Passover into the religion. Many of the practices of Easter uh, came from Ishtar or Oy, uh, uh, Esther, uh, as in Esther Jim. But which that came from Ishtar first. So a Babylonian Egyptian queen slash God, the Catholic Church, co-opted these Egyptian practices of Easter, of Ishtar, to envelope the pagans into the Catholic's universal religion. So it was a catch-all. They created this mythical person in order to make God a person so you could identify with them. Started writing the rules of who was in the right religion and who was in the wrong religion. The Catholic Church was the universal religion. Religion, so they was going to uh, dictate how the entire world thought about Jesus Christ. C Christopher Columbus Day was pushed on Congress to be passed by Catholics. I think it was like the Knights of Columbus to celebrate this revolting, disgusting, barbaric, murderous, genocidal, uh, 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 pedophilic, bloodthirsty maniac. Christopher Columbus is a piece of shit. No fucking way we should even have a day such as Christopher Columbus Day. Uh, scratch it out, but it was put by the Catholics, um, had pushed it. Uh, Halloween was also co-opted by the Catholic Church. It's based on the Gaelic, Celtic, Irish, pagan practices during Samhain. Also, Sam Hain Samhain was uh, co-opted by the Catholic Church with All Souls Day, All Saints Day. Many in Latin America have Day of the Dead festivals and festivities that have been absorbed into the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church has uh, co-opted Halloween into their uh, list of holy days, holy days, right? That's where holidays comes from, holy days. Uh, Saturn is the worship of Saturn on um, Saturday. Sunday is the worship of the sun on Sunday. St. Valentine uh, Day was co-opted by the Catholic Church. St. Patrick was co-opted by the St. Valentine uh, Day was co-opted by the Catholic Church. St. Patrick was co-opted by the Catholic Church. Easter, it was sort of it was the Passover, so they, that was sort of a co-option. Halloween was co-opted. And you're also going to see Christmas was co-opted by the Catholic Church also. Now, St. Valentine uh, Day was co-opted by the Catholic Church. St. Patrick was co-opted by the Catholic Church. Easter, it was sort of it was the Passover, so they, that was sort of a co-option. Halloween was co-opted. And you're also going to see Christmas was co-opted by the Catholic Church also. Now, St. Valentine uh, Day was co-opted by the Catholic Church. St. Patrick was co-opted by the Catholic Church. Easter, it was sort of it was the Passover, so they, that was sort of a co-option. Halloween was co-opted, 
And you're also going to see Christmas was co-opted by the Catholic Church also, now by the Catholic Church also. Now Thanksgiving Day is just as barbaric and disgusting as Christopher Columbus Day and uh, 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 Taint Patrick uh, because of the genocidal aspect. So Thanksgiving Day, this was when the Protestants partied and rejoiced after massacring piles of Native Americans. Whenever they would massacre a shit ton of Indians, whether they were the Wampanoags or the Massachusetts or the Pequot, or Cherokee, or Shawnee, Uchi, Delaware, Creek, uh, Miami, you know, whatever Indians were out there, if they killed them, then they had a big Thanksgiving Day because, thank God, we was able to rid the world of these pagan heathens who were uncivilized, such as us good, you know, white uh, Europeans who believed in God. But the day of the first official Thanksgiving Day shows just how barbaric these so-called good Christian missionaries were. Okay, so they were willing to burn and murder women and children. Um, while the warriors were gone in cold blood and not give a shit. So that type of barbarity scared the shit out of all the Indians in the land in the uh, massacre at Mystic River during the Pequot War in America completely changed the game. It was one of those days that changed the entire game, right? That's when it got the attention of the Native Americans and people were like, wow, these fucking yeah, yeah, Protestant, English-speaking Protestants are fucking crazy. So, the um, first official Thanksgiving Day commemorates the burning and slaying of over 700 uh, old Pequot men, women, and children on May 26, 1637 on the Mystic River, which is on the southeast corner of Connecticut by John Mason, who is an English Protestant Puritan of the Connecticut Land Raping Corporation, which was a tributary and broke off um, and became its own thing of the Massachusetts Bay Land Ray, uh, Raping Corporation under Governor John Endicott. So they torched their wigwams while 700 plus Pequot women and children were sleeping in their villages. Those who tried to run away were cut down, slain, and murdered with not a single warrior or military man in sight. The next day, the governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony... So they torched their wigwams while 700 plus Pequot women and children were sleeping in their villages. Those who tried to run away were cut down, slain, and murdered with not a single warrior or military man in sight. The next day, the governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, John Winthrop, declared a day of Thanksgiving, thanking God that the Pequot had been eliminated, um, that the, their side had eliminated over 700 men, women, and children. It was signed into law that this day forth... Shall be a uh, shall be a day of celebration and thanksgiving for subduing the Pequots. John Winthrop offered forty pounds sterling for the scalp of an Indian man, twenty for the scalps of uh, women and children. On June fifth, Captain Mason attacked another Pequot village, this one near present-day Stonington, and again the Indian inhabitants were defeated and massacred. On July twenty-eighth, the third attack and massacre occurred near present-day Fairfield, and the Pequot War came to an end. Most of the surviving Pequot were sold into slavery, though a handful escaped to join other southern New England tribes. The name Pequot was officially erased from the map. The Pequot River became the Thames River. And their town became New London. In 1975, the official number of Pequot living in Connecticut was 21. What in the fuck are you all celebrating? Christmas was also a Catholic church co-opted in another Roman pagan festival of Saturnalia. Saturnalia was a time when all of Rome became victim to the drunken, crime-ridden orgies of orgies which they had called Saturnalia. They covered it up with Christmas, which was Christ Mass, and that's how we got Santa and Coca-Cola and presents today. So, that's the Catholic Church. They've co-opted most of these holidays. These are the major holidays. These are the biggest holidays that Americans celebrate. So, essentially, Americans, you've been lied to your entire life. Uh, your entire life is a lie. Everybody around you has been lying to you. They don't really give a shit that they're lying to you. They just want you to believe the stupid horse shit that they believe. They don't really care about the truth. And they don't, uh, definitely don't want you to know the truth. Uh, really, nobody cares for the truth or for you, or for you to know the truth, or for you to think independently for yourself. Those who love you will tell you the truth. Those who hate you will deceive you, manipulate you, and so they can exploit you. So, happy Festivus to the rest of us. Happy birthday, Isaac Newton, Simon Gertie, and Mary Kwanzaa, everybody. So, 
All praise be to God the Father, Holy Spirit, and the Son, right? All love to God, but none for nobody else. Seem like you wasting all your love for some shit that don't even exist. What in the fuck are you all celebrating? So how y'all gonna love white Jesus? And you don't love me. Invisible man in the clouds. So when the person runs over a dog or a cat, the motherfucker isn't just dead on the street. He's swimming in the clouds with the angels. Is that what you're saying? Let me tell I want to know this. I mean, seriously, how childish are you? Do you believe in Santa Claus too? The Easter Bunny? The Tooth Fair? The Tooth Fairy? What do you think about Abraham? You believe in him? Adam and Eve? Hell, the Pope don't even believe in Adam and Eve. Shit. Y'all probably think Jesus was real. Jesus was real? How come you've had 20 other gods before him have the same exact birthday? Shit. God. Y'all need to grow the fuck up.